atheism at 400 million, cute, over 5.5 billion adherents in a religion of the Abrahamic God. Who's in a cult? You didn't know? I really hate to have to do this to you, bud, but I'm gonna have to burst your bubble. A cult, by definition, is a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. A lack of belief in any of those figures or objects is not a cult. That would be a lack of a cult. You, however, have a religious devotion to a 2,000-year-old zombie named Jesus. That would make what you are a part of a cult, regardless of how many people are in it. I do think it's kind of cute, though, that you went with the whole 5.5 billion adherents of the religion of the Abrahamic God, because you don't want to admit that there's more non-Christians than there are Christians, but... We all know how you guys like to twist and skew things to fit your agenda. But just because you're in a widely accepted cult doesn't make it any less of one. And people are also leaving your cult in droves, so... Give it a few decades, maybe a century, and your cult will be nothing more than another mythology. I already consider it one, because that's what it is. Do better, though, and enjoy coping. I love my guy Deconstressi's uh, page. All praise to Kamadrov and his son Gordon. Ah, uh, let's get rid of some of the bleep. So, I always find it interesting when people say that, oh, you know, what you're talking about is occult knowledge. What you're talking about is of the occult. Which occult just means hidden, for the most part, uh, when you're talking about the occult. Hidden knowledge, hidden information. So any religion that is not the religion of that individual person would be considered an occult. And the fact that they use the five billion to make that seem like it's valid shows an indication that they don't understand the information that they're giving it actually goes against themselves uh, one you want to claim all five billion of the uh, Abrahamic religions but yet those Abrahamic religions do not believe in the same God back in the day I used to be one that would say that the Islamic people the Jewish people and the Christian people all believe in the same God but because of the nuances that they have that describe God they do not actually believe in the same God. When you look at Judaism, they just believe in Yahweh. He is the one God, one total complete God who does not beget any sons. So therefore, since Christians believe that Jesus is also God, then that would make Judaism and Christianity not believing in the same God. The same with Allah. Allah does not fit into the paradigm of the Christian God. Allah does not have any sons. Allah does not beget sons. So therefore, he wouldn't be the same God either. When comparison, comparing the Abrahamic, the Judaism God, and the Islamic God, since those gods also differ in who their messengers are, they differ in who their Messiah is, they differ in their practice and how they worship, then Allah and the Judaic God are not the same either. Since Allah chosen people are not the Israelites, then they will be different. The Abrahamic God goes through Abraham, Isaac, and then to Jacob. Whereas the God of the Islam goes Abraham, Ishmael, and then the 12 kings from Ishmael, not the 12 children of Jacob. So therefore, it is still worshiping a different God. So they're not the same. So your number is only used to try to validate it. But let's just go ahead and let you have that one. The entire world, the majority of the world, I should say, for a while, believed that the earth was flat. Was it? Is it? No. And I know some people are going to come in here and say, yes, it is. But it's not. We have so much proof that it's not. Your science for the flat earth does not work. But because people believe it, does that make it true? They believed it at one point. People in Germany believed in Nazism. Turned out not to be true. But while they were believing it, does it make it true? There are millions upon millions of people who believe in white supremacy. Does that make white supremacy true? It does not make it true. Not even slightly true. There are people who believe in Krishna. There are people who believe in Brahma. Does that make it true? It is not true. 
there are over a billion Hindu people. Does that make Krishna, Krishna and Brahma real? Because a lot of people believe in it? No. No. Not even slightly. Just because a lie is told over and over again and people believe it does not make that lie truth. So therefore, your belief system based on the number of people who believe in something doesn't validate that belief at all. So, if Christians, if you really want to prove that something is real, that something exists, then you have to have some type of evidence that proves it. Let your God come down here and sit next to me and we have a cigar and a conversation together and then that would be the proof of your God. Let your God right now split the heavens and we will have proof of it. But first he has to prove that he's God and not some alien from another planet with just higher abilities of uh, technology. Because in those people days, 2,000 years ago, if someone had higher technology, they would believe that that person was a God. If you were able to, right now, there was a movie where an aircraft carrier got sucked through a time warp and it came out in World War II. Well, the, the, and it, it showed itself in World War II and it was, it was fighting that battle. It fought a couple of people during Pearl Harbor. But if, let's say you took that same concept and that ship appeared 2,000 years ago with all the technology that you would have on an aircraft carrier group. I mean, you got this big ship, you got airplanes, you got helicopters, you got guns, you got better medicine that you can heal people from things that they thought was incurable. You have all these things going for you, all this technology. Those people at that time would have claimed that those people were gods because of their abilities, because of their technology. This is what the Anunnaki story is really talking about. It's talking about a group of people who had higher technology than the people that they were restarting their civilization. And because of that, they thought that they were gods. These people could have been Atlanteans. They could have been Lemurians. They could have been from Mu. They could have just been a higher technology, technologically advanced people who barely survived the Younger Dryas flood. And therefore, when they restarted civilization, they then made themselves out to be gods. We have this same story with the Kemetic story, with the Aztecs and Mayan stories, with some of the Polynesian stories and the Australian stories. So many people around the world claim that someone with higher technologies came and restarted their civilization after the Younger Dryas Flood around 12,000 to 9,000 BCE. Were they gods? Or were they just people with greater technology who knew how to heal so that they can live longer and had contraptions that were fantastical to the people that they were restarting their civilization? So, no, they're not gods. Your God is not a God. It's just what you believe. And your belief is not proof of anything. And a bunch of people's belief is not proof of anything. So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.